Artists, today we are going to add color to our peace signs. You'll notice that your peace signs have been dipped into a black India ink. I recommend that you double check the back for your name or code to make sure that you have the right peace sign. We are actually going to be adding metallic acrylic paint on top of our peace signs. This is going to make our surface area metallic while the textured recesses of our projects will still remain black. Acrylic paint will stain your clothes, so make sure that you're careful or that you use a paint smock. And just like any other paint, we don't want to mix these paint colors in our palette. We want to make sure that we're using a messy mat, a sponge, and water when we're changing colors. So it's very simple. All you do is dip your brush into the acrylic paint, and you don't need a lot because it's a very thick paint, and you are just adding your color right to the surface. You don't need to push hard because you don't want the paint to get into the crevices. You want that black textured area to remain. So you're just laying your paint down with a nice thin area. And you can choose to add as many colors that are on your palette. Just remember that when you switch colors, you use the messy mat, the sponge, and the water to help you. So you can see already that the cool textures that we've created are still showing through under the metallic paint. So I'm ready to try a new color. I think I want the center of my peace sign to be this pretty color. So I'm going to try to get off as much extra paint that I might have had. I'm going to wipe that brush on my messy mat first to get as much off as I can. Then I'm going to wipe my brush onto the sponge to get off any more before I get fresh water. I can go back and forth on the sponge and the water to help as well. Once you know that you have a nice clean brush, you can move on to your second color. Remember you don't need a lot. And just a thin layer so that you can still see your black ink that's stuck in the recesses of the textures. And acrylic paint dries relatively fast. So we just need these to dry before we can take them home. 